The UN is concerned that political uncertainty could trigger fear that could result in widespread violence in the country. The Secretary General has discussed the political situation with the President of uh, Burundi, the first Vice President of Burundi, and as well in recent days with political leaders in the region, including the Presidents of South Africa and Tanzania. He is seeking their support in encouraging the government of Burundi to take concrete steps to address these reports. The UN has received what it calls credible reports that in January and February this year, the youth wing of the ruling CNDD-FDD party, known as the Imbonerakure, were provided with weapons and training. A group the UN now believes has been markedly active in politically motivated violence targeting political opponents. During our visit the UN Special Advisor on Genocide is currently in Burundi to convey the Secretary General's concerns, while the US Ambassador to the UN has just returned from the country. One reason that I paid the visit to Burundi was some of the alarming signs that we're seeing from the decision to uh, end uh, the UN mission um, at a time when there's significant political volatility uh, to the um, very swift trials of 21 members, uh, young people who were members of uh, one of the leading opposition parties, to restrictive media laws, to moves to change the constitution. Uh, there are a whole series of uh, um, worrying developments there. The UN's political mission has a mandate to remain in the country until the end of the year, despite requests from the government that it leaves sooner. Sherman Bryceby's SABC News, New York.